A human person has so much power to do things. He or she has so much potential. And this potency could be used to do something good and to do something bad. In a way, one has the potential of doing good and evil. It all depends on which one do you feed, which potency do you feed, which one do you allow to grow in life. Now, if you wish to reap the harvest of goodness, you cannot sow something bad. Whatever you sow at each moment is going to bring about a harvest, a harvest matching that particular seed. We heard so much of King David, all his goodness in the past days, how sincere and good-hearted person he was, that he could have been the model for all of us in his sincerity, in his zeal, in his virtue of goodness. But see today, he falls into a sin when he encourages and say yes to the temptation of lust. He sees a woman, orders his man to get this woman and commits the sin of adultery. And it doesn't end right there. There are number of sins which are committed after this or he makes others to commit in order to protect himself and to hold on to that sin which he committed and he did it allowing this temptation or allowing this evil to grow. When it comes to David, he was a powerful king. He had control over this woman and even to get her husband killed. He had control over all other commands. He had power to commit all other sins because he could just command and it was done. We may not be kings like King David, but today with the freedom that we all have, we have command over things. We have freedom toward what we do. And it all depends on how much we are willing to stand for evil or to stand for good. A person's greatness doesn't depend on how many people you have under your control, how much rich or poor you are. It depends on how much you have control over yourself, over the temptations, over the different things in your life. So it's your self-control that makes you. The evil one is always going to be with us, to constantly tempt us in our own weaknesses. But if we are willing to overpower these temptations, I mean really desire to overpower and get rid of this temptation, God is there with us to help us and nothing can fall short of this grace of God. The grace of God is enough. At every moment, good or evil is growing in you. You either strengthen the good or the evil. It all depends on what you see or watch. It depends on what you read and talk about. With the power that you have over things, over the media, over the computer, over the phones, what do you sow? Do you sow for that good harvest or do you sow for that evil one? The power lies in your hand and God is there, always available for you. Do you want to be like that mustard seed which is expressed by Jesus in the gospel, which becomes like a shade for all to come and rest, which gives out its shoots, reaching out to different birds of the air. Do you want to be like that mustard seed becoming a tree of goodness? Or do you want to become like that evil destroying yourself and destroying all others around you, encouraging the sin in your mind? So think today, what is your temptation? And do you allow the goodness to prevail? Do you feed it or do you try to destroy this temptation 
with the good resources.